Hello everyone, welcome to this series on literary theories and in this video we are going to discuss the third part of the formalist approach to literary criticism and talk about its history. Introduction The formalist approach to literary criticism as we understand it today emphasizes a meticulous and intrinsic reading of literature. This method, particularly influential during the first two-thirds of the 20th century, became widely known as the New Criticism. This video explores the evolution, principles and contributions of the New Criticism, illustrating its impact on the study and appreciation of literature. Evolution of New Criticism New Criticism gained significant traction in the first two-thirds of the 20th century, shaping the way literature was studied and appreciated. However, as the century progressed, this approach faced criticism and was often referred to as the old new criticism, especially with the rise of newer methodologies in the latter third of the century. These newer approaches such as structuralism, deconstruction, and reader response theory often diverged significantly from the principles of new criticism, focusing on different aspects of literary analysis. Despite these shifts, the principle of new criticism continued to influence literary analysts, particularly in emphasizing the importance of close reading and the detailed examination of texts. Terminology and Scope the term formalist is used in this context to describe the methodology of the new critics, distinguishing it from other forms of formalism, such as Russian formalism. While there are similarities between these methodologies, the focus here is on the specific practices and principles of the new critics. Russian formalism, for instance, also emphasized the form and structure of literary texts, but was more concerned with the linguistic and semiotic aspects of literature. In contrast, the new critics focused on the unity and coherence of the text, its themes and the interplay of its formal elements. Principles of New Criticism The new critics emphasized viewing the literary work as an organic form characterized by internal consistency and vitality. They advocated for understanding the text as a self-contained entity where form and content are intricately linked. This perspective encourages readers to appreciate the text's artistic qualities without relying on external factors. Key principles included the intentional fallacy which cautioned against interpreting texts based on the author's intending meaning and the effective fallacy, which warned against basing interpretation solely on the reader's emotional response. Influence on Reading Practices New criticism significantly influenced reading practices by teaching readers to engage closely and attentively with the text. This approach likens the study of literature to the appreciation of other art forms, such as music and sculpture. For example, just as one might study Mahler's Ninth Symphony or Michelangelo's David for their artistic merits, the new critics encouraged readers to approach literature with the same level of attention and appreciation. Keats's Ode on a Grecian Urn exemplifies this method, as the persona in the poem contemplates the urn's artistic beauty and eternal truth. This analogy underscores the idea that literature, like other forms of art, can be appreciated for its craftsmanship and internal coherence. Historical Continuity The new critics did not emerge in isolation. They built upon the work of their predecessors. This continuity in literary creation and criticism reflects the enduring importance of form in art. The emphasis on form, a core principle of the new critics, resonates with artistic practices throughout history. Whether in literature, music or visual arts, 
form remains a fundamental aspect of artistic expression. Earlier critics such as Aristotle, with his focus on plot and unity in tragedy, and the formal structures emphasized by Renaissance critics, laid the groundwork for new critics' focus on formal elements. Importance of Form Form is an inherent aspect of all art forms. In literature, it manifests in various structural elements, such as the stanza of a poem, the acts of a play, or the chapters of a novel. While form may initially be perceived at a physical level, such as the geometric pattern of a building or the structure of a poem, it also operates at a deeper, more abstract level. The new critics did not invent these forms, but they emphasized their importance in understanding and appreciating literature. By focusing on how these forms contribute to the overall effect of a work, the new critics helped to illuminate the ways in which structure and meaning are intertwined. Contribution of New Critics The new critics contributed to literary studies by enhancing readers' appreciation of literary form. They reminded readers of the long-standing significance of form in art and encouraged a deeper engagement with the text. Their approach fostered a more attentive and analytic reading practice, which remains relevant in contemporary literary analysis. By emphasizing the text's internal features, the new critics provided tools for analyzing how elements such as imagery, symbolism, and narrative structure work together to create meaning. Background Elements of Formalist Theory Formalist theory, as developed by the new critics, focuses on understanding the text's internal elements and their interrelationships. This methodology encourages readers to examine the text's language, structure, imagery and symbolism. By doing so, readers can uncover the text's inherent meaning and appreciate its artistic coherence. The legacy of the new criticism lies in its emphasis on close reading and the appreciation of literary form, which continues to inform modern literary analysis. This approach allows readers to explore the richness of the text without being distracted by external contexts. Conclusion The formalist approach, particularly as practiced by the new critics, has had a profound impact on literary criticism. By emphasizing close reading and the intrinsic elements of the text, the new critics taught readers to appreciate literature as a self-contained work of art. Their focus on form and internal coherence continues to influence contemporary literary analysis, underscoring the enduring relevance of their methodology. Despite the rise of new critical approaches, the principles of the new criticism remain a valuable tool for understanding and appreciating literature. This approach has not only enriched the study of literature but also provided a foundation for other critical methodologies that followed. So this was the discussion on the third part of the formalist literary criticism. We will meet in the next video and discuss its next part. Until then, goodbye and thank you.